This is Wonder Kids, our SciTech podcast where you ask the big science questions and the amazing SciTech staff find the answers. My name is Zaya and I've been trying to imagine what life might be like for a royal queen because of a question sent in by Indy. Hi, my name is Indy. I was wondering who crowns the queen bee. To answer this question, we have Kate joining us today. Hi Indy, my name is Kate and I work at SciTech. I love nature and looking at the visible beehive we have at SciTech. So what a fantastic question. Even though the queen bee does not wear a crown, she has a really important job. The queen bee stays in the beehive all day and lays lots of eggs. In a bee colony, there are thousands of worker bees, hundreds of drone bees, but only one queen bee. But who crowns the queen bee? Well, it comes down to a type of worker bee called nurse bees. Nurse bees dedicate their time to looking after all the bee larvae. Larvae are essentially baby bees, like soft, wiggly worms. As they grow into adult bees, the soft skin of larvae become harder after they hatch. For the first three days, all larvae are fed with royal jelly. Royal jelly is a milky yellow substance that is made up of water, lots of protein and other nutrients. It's got everything the larvae need to grow. After the third day, the nurse bees start feeding the larvae honey, but they choose one larva from the group and give it special treatment because one day it will become a queen bee. This chosen larva continues just to eat royal jelly until it grows into an adult bee. The diet of royal jelly changes the future queen's body to make sure she can lay eggs and grows up to be bigger than the other bees. All the other larvae who are feeding on honey eventually turn into worker bees. So it's the nurse bees who are responsible for crowning the queen bee because they pick one future queen from all the regular eggs and feed it the royal jelly. Once she is fully grown, the new queen bee starts laying eggs to make new bees. And in her spare time, she stays in the hive and eats lots of delicious royal jelly, just like her royal should. Hmm. So Kate, does that mean that to become queen, a larva doesn't have to do anything special? Yeah, that's right. So the future queen bee doesn't have to do anything in particular. It's just the nurse bees who choose one specific egg out of many and they feed it with the royal jelly. And this royal jelly is a special type of honey that makes the chosen larva bigger than the others? Yeah, pretty much. The queen bee is always bigger than the other bees in her hive. At SciTech, we actually put a colourful dot on the back of our queen bee so that you can easily spot her in our visible hive. We've also learned a new word today, larvae. Larvae are baby bees that look a bit like wiggly worms and their soft skin hardens up when they grow into adult bees. When we're talking about just one insect, we say larva. Thanks for listening to Wonder Kids. This podcast is brought to you by SciTech. Explore your world through wonder.